Hey guys, Elio here with another tutorial for Blender. In this one, we're going to continue with our little bot. And in previous video, I think I forgot to use screencast keys, so I'm just going to use them now to make it easier for you guys. So to follow, um, what I want to do before we continue, I wanted to actually add some neck, you know, some kind of a connection to um, between this head and the chassis. So. Let's grab a cylinder and maybe set it to 60. 60 should be fine, I think. Oh, come on. There we go. And, you know, let's sharpen this and uh, let's rotate it on Y. And I think it's not in the middle. So let's uh, move this cursor to origin and then item to the cursor and then uh, we're good to go. Now I'm going to make this a bit smaller and... Now I need to think um, how to solve this conundrum. Maybe actually I want it to be, um, t for this um, cylinder to be oriented this way. And I'm going to duplicate it and rotate it on uh, X and scale it a bit like this. Maybe that's what I want. No, that's not what I want. Hmm. So what I want to do, right, is to create some kind of... Uh, it's too big. Some kind of... Uh, it has to be in proportion. A connection to the head. And it needs to turn, you know, left and right into the sides, right? So I'm thinking how to solve this. Well, let's grab a cube and you know make it smaller and drop it down get a bit wider and narrower and go to uh, back view gonna have to fit it in here somehow okay so we're gonna make it wider then we're gonna cut it the shape, right? Let me see. Make this a bit larger. I don't think this head is in the middle, is it? It's symmetrized, right? So let's reset it. There we go. Set another cube, let's drop it down, make it narrower. That'll do. Cut it in here. Could do something like this. Copy to the other side. This not gonna be good. I don't think so. Nope. Um, we could actually cut it here, it's fine. That will work. Now, this one is a little bit too, too long, so we need to, you know, make it reasonable, somewhat. And... Let's cut this, so, in object mode, circle. Slice this. Let me think. 
someone needs to be connected to the chassis, but um, let's see, let's, let's actually cut it here. So go to end gun and slice it like this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, naturally, we will need some loops in here, or else we're gonna have a bad day. Um, let's actually apply this and um, combine these faces and um, let's sharpen it and oops, let's bevel it. So mm, the top is fine, I think. This back, um, this back part here, I think should stick up a little bit more. So what we're gonna do is move it a little bit back, and we're gonna cut it, you know, so it fits the shape, right? Kind of like this, something like this here, right? There we go. And at top two, we're gonna slice it. So it looks a bit more kind of, there we go. And we will fix this uh, problem in here in a second. So anyway, something like this. And then we need to introduce another uh, cylinder. So make it narrower, drop it down here and a little bit up and sharpen this and bevel this and let's see let's make it larger on every single axis except for uh, z and drop it down and drop some loops because once we boolean this and we will basically merge it um, it will be you know will be a problem so we're gonna move everything all of these right a little bit lower so gz a little bit lower here so we can move this one uh come on a bit higher yeah. and let's bring it to local and shift d and make them larger in fact, let's uh, apply the booleans. Smart apply, and then make them larger and slice it. Yeah, difference. Okay, and hide it. And now let's see. I'm gonna have to mirror this. There we go. Um, is it enough to move? I don't think so. Let's make it, uh, you know, bigger here on this axis. So there is a, you know, movement leeway. In fact, let's make it even bigger than that. Like this. this could be interesting. And uh, this should be even though. So um, what we can do is move this edge down, yeah, like this. See, to even up this. Or in fact, what we could do is do this uh, select this one grab a box and you know cut it like this yeah through okay because uh, we, we need a even you know opening here this one's too big in the back this is this structurally doesn't make any sense it's too weak yeah so what we're gonna do select this cutter and oh, come on go to side view select this cutter and uh, go to this uh, X-ray mode and move them back. Oh, come on. Only these ones. Uh, move them back a little bit here. Right. There we go. That's better. Okay, so it's moves, but, you know, not too crazily. This front one is uh, a little bit too deep as well, so we're going to, you know, do the same thing. In fact, what we should do is move all of it a little bit deeper like this right now let's sharpen this and see yeah that will work you see it's an illusion of movement but this one needs to be lower than yeah so it's a bit too high we need to see this opening here and also what we do need is another cut in here yeah like this slice there we go 
and now we can save it so when you create something you need to think you know how this thing gonna move right let's think about it shall we um let's insert it set it again okay let's, let's copy this to the other side um, let's have some fun with this one so let's let's go with an inset and T well, let's go here and see this solidification maybe it's a bit too aggressive I will do so shift 2 let's do the same thing on the other side oh come on there we go press T Shift it to life with shift and let's uh, grab this one, solidify it just enough to, you know, introduce kind of like an inset. And uh, is it the same thickness more or less? Yeah, it is. So let's just bevel it. Not this one, this one. All right and go here and uh, let's apply the modifiers so um, smart apply and let's actually run this cleanup again here with machine this is not a big problem you just have to you know fix this forest fire here let's double vert it's cool we're gonna symmetrize it to whoops, symmetrize it to the other side. So um, let's go to D menu, symmetry, and symmetrize it. Some beef here, no problem. We're gonna fix it. So let's move this one up. That's cool. Let's sharpen everything and sharpen this one because reasons. And symmetrize it again. And everything should be peachy. This should be beveled, meaning uh, we could switch it to on this one, right? We could switch it to weight. So this angle is going to get caught by the bevel, you see. So there we go. This, these bevels are a little bit too crazy. I mean, this should be like a mechanical part, meaning, you know, the bevel should be a little bit less soft. That makes any sense. Press 1 to shift the bevel profile and there we go this one is not being cut meaning you know what we could do um combine them to two of them so let's actually apply everything here so operation smart apply and remove the bevel from this one right and combine them so before we do that ah um is it a cube oh, it's a cube um that's fine so let's combine them so booleans and union and then let's bring it to local and see what uh, what we're dealing here with so let's sharpen this thing there we go and now the bevel should work right there we go now it's working so let's see what we're dealing here i think it's pretty clean this didn't get cut but uh that's fine because we can't see it anyway so it doesn't matter well we kind of can see it so what we could do, right, is uh, recall the cutters and uh, Alt H, grab this one, and this one go to local and you know slice it again. So difference, right? And uh, you need to increase the scale a little bit because it's causing some problems. So let's hide it, and it should be fine now. 
there you go. So shift to look from the front and you know you can just increase the size of this one a bit. And everything is peachy. It's a uh, hide this cutter, this one too. Now let's talk about these uh, these little buggers here. So this one is going to be you know beveled, sure, and sharpened. This one needs to be bullioned. So let's uh, let's multiply this, and we got rings here. We do. So let's grab these two. And uh, to be honest, we don't need this. Uh, we don't need this bullion really, but uh, I, let's go back in time a bit, yeah. Um, let's grab these two. Um, oh, f fuck it. Just, it's fine. Just, you know, like, it's, you can't see it anyway, so. Bullion union, we good. Sharpen and remove this garbage. There we good, see. Almost. Could use a bit of uh, fixing in here, but not too big of a deal. So just fix this a bit, fix this a bit, make it a little bit less crazy, and uh, you know, symmetrize it to be Gucci. What we could do, right, is uh, run a gentle. Um, if possible, um, like a chamfer. There we go. It's gonna be interesting, and a chamfer here as well. So let's select this. The bevel is too crazy here, yeah. So we're gonna, you know, make it smaller. Like I said, it's a, it's a machine steel, so you need to think about the materials. I'm gonna introduce some more chamfers in here. So this one. This one and this one it can be tiny ones, you know, just to indicate uh, the second machine-like look. Uh, in fact, let's go back in time, select all of these and chamfer them a little bit. Gonna get some pulling here from this one, I'm guessing. Yep. Same in the front. So let's just remove them. Okay, PG. Um, they can have some fun with it. For example, you know, you could uh, you could chamfer these, or we could chamfer the front edge. Like this, you know. Chamfer this one a bit deeper, right? Something like that. That'll do. And now we need to create this uh, connection here at the back of okay? it. So, see this? Uh, this could be, oh, I can't be. Well, we could cut it actually with a, with an end gun. Um, you know, like this, right? There you go. Just sharpen it. Kind of looks pretty cool. Actually, we could do the same thing to the front. I like it. So, just slice it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, and now... Um, we can create some visual interest in here. So, uh, let's go to the other side. And just introduce some cuts. We would need to slice it here, you know, like this, right? Did 
this is actually pretty good and here too right that's pretty good now let's go to the back again and let's let's cut this and you know let's cut this there you go now you're talking now it, now it's gonna make sense slowly let's cut this let's cut this oh shit oh let's let's cut here and uh, let's cut this one that's maybe too much it's too many cuts in this side I think this is gonna do and I'm going to cut one more um, on object an object mode inside here like this and I'm gonna bevel it oh come on inside here bevel it there we go then I'm gonna bevel this I think we got some uh, um, flip normals I'm pretty sure Oh, we don't. Fascinating. So let's go to um, Smart Apply and now 3 to clean it. And let's see now flip normals. Wow. What the hell is... Maybe the bevel is too big. Oh yeah, the bevel is too big. Weighted normals and Bob Janko. Alright, so we got this head mounting, right? Which is pretty cool. In addition to all that, what we could do is uh, um, go here to the top and you know drop some screws uh, or something. So switch to view and how many verts we have? Come by to see. Uh, probably because I don't have it set up. So let's go to box cutter settings and oh yeah I do. Hang on a second, so I cannot see. I I can't see the uh, number of words being displayed. Is it statistics? It's a new 2.9, which is fucking and irritating because they moved all the data to the left is just fucking retarded. I don't know who did this, you know, like from here, which is unobtrusive and really nice. They moved this shit here. It's just for real, like someone started bold at Blender or just pretends they're working, you know, like you got new you know, fuckers coming to your workplace and they're just trying to change the world because they're young and overzealous and they think they know everything and they just want to show how much they do and they just do stupid things like this, you know. Why would you fucking move this from here to here? It just makes no sense. Jesus. I really hate stupidity, you know. So I'm, I'm allergic, to, allergic to this shit. Anyway, um, let's move this one to the other side. Sharpen it. I think. Oh no, we can't sharpen it because it's not deep enough. There we go. Let's actually solidify it. Oh, um, maybe not. Not solidify it. Uh, let's just cut it. Yeah, it's fine. So let's do it properly. Uh, let's multiply and uh, recalculate sharpen. And let me see here. This one needs to be sharpened. And this one too. Well, these uh, these lines, um, they're a disaster. Yeah, you don't want to have angles like this on your bevels. And I will show you why. Because uh, when you start to bevel this, you see what happens. They overshoot. Yeah. So when you do bevels like that, you want straight lines perpendicular to your. Oh. You can click E, and keep cutting. 
let's move here. This one is not ideal either. We're gonna actually connect it in here. Let's remove this and this. And then do the same thing here. So let's see. Okay. And maybe move it like. Mm, well, we can just move it up here. So let's see. E and do the same thing. Where is it? Come on. So I remove these two and then we're gonna symmetrize it so to the other side and see if we can chamfer it now probably should work yep nice yeah these chamfers you see they 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 break light you know like um this one is a bit flat right this one looks just a little bit more interesting you got a bit more um focus on these so anyway that will do and everything is great so now this one you know i'm thinking that what we could do is uh bevel this or i'll just you know make it sharp and it should be fine we could cut it with a round, rounder um, kind of, you know, um, end on, but let's move it down. It's fine. Symmetrize it. Okay. So let's save this, yeah? So that will be our kind of like a mounting... Uh, for the head also what i would like to do is i think cut these yeah like that so grab an end gun and do something like this come on yeah perfect now i like it sharpen this didn't get sharpened properly i think yeah and i think we're gonna switch it to um angle here i mean weight so this side's gonna get beveled as well. Did it? Yeah, it did. Cool. Oh, yeah, it did get beveled. All right, perfect. Nice. I like it. We could add some more interest in here, you know, like for example, screw or 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 I don't know. We could indent it or uh, introduce some some interesting cut you know just for fun sharpen this and the connecting lines look fine so let's just create a chamfer and you know drop something like this which is pretty cool and what we could do here you know, I can't be do bothered to do it with hard up, so what I'm gonna do, I mean, with uh, the regular way, so I'm gonna do is go through the um, cable ops and simply select these two points. I'm just gonna have to fix it a little bit, so let's grab these two, go to side view, grab this one, and simply click on the middle part, bring it down. Um, now select these two let's make it less thick and drop it down and make it wider and drop it down a bit lower it's still too thick Uh, 
Um, do I need to move it? Yeah, kind of. Move it here and move this one lower. Kind of like this. There we go. And let's just simply, you know, mirror this. There we go. All right. So that's that's the bots the bots head. We could just drop some screws in here too. So while we edit, so let's go through kit ups, shall we? Because that's the way to go. Hard hard ups insets created by Master Master Z on one zero zero one. You can actually get get them for free. I don't think it's gonna work in local mode. So let's get out of the local mode. There we go. Let's now go to local mode. It would be great if this worked in local mode. So, Jerry, if you're watching, uh, maybe it's possible. Why is it not snapping? Face uh, align orientation. There we go. Let's make it smaller and drop it somewhere here. It's too small, but that's okay because I need to see where I'm putting it. It doesn't have to be ideally aligned. Drop it a bit lower here and now mod copy this. Huh? Oh really? Fascinating. Fine. Um I'm just gonna Duplicate it so I'll D and uh, duplicate it in here and now we're gonna copy this PG and let's remove these materials because reasons. All right, so now we got it done. So that's the base. And we can still add some details here. So before we move to a decal machine, because you know we're gonna decal machine the hell out of this thing. But before we get there, we can still add some stuff. For example, um, let me see here. Let's remove these two, and let's let's actually. See if we can bevel these. Yes, we can. That's pretty cool. And it's gonna correspond nicely with this circle in here. I'm not gonna do much in here because what I'm gonna do is probably use the um, um, decal machine. Let's go for checker deselect and let's scale them in. Ah, we're gonna have a problem in here, right? So, wait. We need to fix this first. What's going on here? Oh. There we go. And. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, something is not right in here. But this should be in the middle, I think. So select all of these. You know what? Let's just remove this edge. Will it work? No. This need be, needs to. They need to be in the middle. No, it's still not even. Shit. Ah, uh, because it's symmetrized. Hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, we do something else then. Let's just uh, extract it. Open it and come on. Let's go to the top view and uh, let's. And gun is fine actually. Uh, let's have some fun here. Sharpen this. How are we looking with the bevel? Yeah, too crazy. Also. Uh, before we sharpen this, we need some we need some loops. There we go. Now let's go. 
let's go shift Q and let's rotate it a little bit uh, and do this again gonna be a bit wider boom and now let's uh, let's symmetrize it so there we go and we can do the same thing or similar thing on the bottom how are we looking we are looking pretty peachy so that's good switch the box and uh, good oh, not really not not really we need to be from on the side i think like somewhere here you know otherwise it's gonna just uh the shading's gonna break so yep that's better that would do it Let's go to the side and how are we looking here? We're looking good. Let's grab an end gun and uh, slice it. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Oh, it's fine. Uh, let's grab an end gun and let's see if we can have more fun here. So, let's turn this snapping off because it annoys me. And cut it. And let's shift the bow to a slush. And this should work. Sharpen. Sharpen. Yep. Nice. We've got some shading problem in here, I think, or not? Not really. Cool. Let's see if we can actually chamfer this. Probably not. Because of the angle. Or can we? I need to see this. No, we can't see because of the angle. But we can't chamfer these. So that's what we're gonna do. And the bevel is too steep. So we're gonna make it a little bit lower and wait at almost everything. Because reasons. How are we looking? Yeah, looking pretty good. Uh, let's grab a box and uh, let's bevel this and rotate it a bit. See, I, I prefer to do it in a... It's just too slow, you know. Blender is so slow. It's not hard up's uh, fault. It's a, it's a blender just basically slowing down on cutters, yeah. So... It's very really annoying. So what I what I like doing is right, is beveling this thing and then simply slicing it or yeah, we're in a view mode, so what the hell? Um one more time. It's just faster to you know do it this way and then select these edges, come on. these edges and beveling them here you give more control right and then you just simply rotate it with shift you know so you can you don't have to struggle with uh, until uh, they figure out how to how to go around the blender limitations it's gonna be a bit uh, bit of a struggle So let's solidify this. There we go. And sharpen it. Yep. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We're gonna make some lights out of it. So what we could do, we can do it now, you know, so we could separate these. And by the way, we gotta fix those uh, nasty edges because what is it? This one. Um so how we could do this is just you know run a knife here 
like this, right? That will do. I don't know if it's curved. No, it's flat. That's cool. Because this, this, this gotta go. Yeah, this is just a disaster. So, disaster in making. That's what it is. Symmetrize it. And everything is good. So that's great. And let's see what's happening here. We lost a sharp edge. In fact, um, this probably won't work in here. This is too steep. Okay, let's see. We're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. Um, what we could do, you know, we definitely need something on the top because it's a bit boring. But what I was thinking is to create some kind of like a, um, um, so what I was thinking, maybe we could create some kind of uh, um, hatches and, or handles in here, or like maybe notches, you know, so we can put some handles or hatches with decals. So what we're gonna do is go to a box and grab a line, a box and, um, you know, create some cool shapes here. Let's, let's go to local because you can't see what I'm doing. It's object, there we go. I wasn't in object view. I need to be in object mode. I mean, so. Come on. Oh, fucking blender. Come on, dude. There we go. That's the one. Could actually bevel it too. See if it's gonna work. Probably it will. Move it a little bit outside. It should be fine. Let's see if we can actually move it up or down and make it better or worse. Uh, let's copy to the other side. Um, that's maybe too big. Make it smaller and move it more to the sides. Maybe a bit higher. Something like that. And let's, let's apply this smart apply. And uh, now let's see what's the damage. We definitely need to, you know, sharpen this also. Like I said, those freaking angles, man. Uh, they gotta go. You gotta always keep fixing uh, crop shading or crop geo that could ruin your day. Because if you leave it, uh, it might come back and bite you in the ass. So let's just select everything here and mark sharp. It doesn't work. See, the problem isn't here. Oh, wait a minute. I think I found this. Ah, that's an issue. It's not a bevel, it's a geo. Right. Let's remove this junk. We don't need it. I'm just gonna use one bevel. So. The geo was the problem. I was wondering what the hell is going on here. It's fine. Then just symmetrize it. And we're good. And we're gonna switch it to weight because uh, I want these edges to be cut as well, right? So, so let's remove it to cutters, and yeah, that's much better to create some interest. We're gonna put some stuff in here, so it's gonna look cool. And at the same time, what we're gonna do is grab a uh, um, yeah object view and. Let's grab a regular box, so turn this off, and let's slice this, right, sharpen, perfect.
All right. Now the top could definitely use something in here, right? Some kind of a battery pack or whatnot. So we're gonna have some fun here, right? So, in fact, you know what? We're gonna go with an handgun, so we can take an advantage of the fact that it's not completely straight in here. So we can do something like this. Control like this here and double click and now J and E extruded. Why did it move? I don't know, but okay. GX, move it back. Now we need to fix it a bit, okay? So, grab this face, SX0, and SY0, and SY0, and SX0. There we go. Oh, that's a bad idea. Let's leave, let's leave this one actually slightly uh, bent. So move it a little bit up here and uh, grab this edge and GX and move it a little bit to this side so it matches nicely. And the same thing we gotta do with this one. So GX and match it nicely. All right, and then uh, let's slice this here. they should do so sink it in a bit and grab this one and operations um so multiply and sharpen hide this junk okay now let's have some fun, so let's uh, chamfer this one. Oh, actually, you know what, maybe we can round it up. Yeah, we could do that. And uh, let's fix this because disaster. Okay. And uh, we're gonna introduce some vents in here and stuff. But we can do it with decals, you know, we don't have to do it like uh, with the this actual geo. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice this off. I'm not so deep, so these pill uh, pillars or whatever the hell it is here, it's not affected. Um, a little bit deeper though, there we go. And sharpen this and sharpen this one. Uh, remove this and let's fix these problems in here. So, three to clean it. This one is too close, it needs to go. In fact, what we could do is simply, you know, chamfer this. So, let's remove this one too and let's chamfer it like this. Okay, and the bevel is a bit too crazy. So we can make it a bit narrower. And uh, there we go. That's nice. Let's uh, chamfer this too. What's going on here? Vert we don't need, 
So, select the top one and let's clean it with the machine and do it again. What the hell? What's going on in here? Double edge or something? Oh, it's a double edge. Really? Dissolve. There we go. Perfect. Now we need to symmetrize it to the other side and uh, drop this one as well. Yeah, that's better. Much, much, much more interesting. Um, this could be chamfered. I think it would add some drama. Let's sharpen this and I mean, let's sharp uh, weighted normals and let's actually switch these values here a little bit. So this is pretty cool. It's like a chamfer splits into like a large chamfer. That actually looks pretty cool. In fact, you know what we could do? We could use machine to, uh, mesh machine. I have an idea. Come on. This one. Uh, let's grab this and go with width, right? And then press T to shift it. There we go. Uh, we can't shift it too much because it's going to... Unless we're going to lift it up, but then we lift it up, we're going to change the curvature. That's okay. Um, let's let's stick with this. Because this is really thin, yeah? So if I'm going to increase the chamfer size, I, this part from underneath is going to pop through. So we don't want that. Oh yes, I wanted to do these. I forgot to do that last time. I wanted to curve these. So grab these and this one gotta go here. This is gonna be a really problematic. So maybe we can just move it in here. Um, so let's try this. Same with this one, man. We're gonna move this up a little bit. There we go. You don't want edges going into corners that you're gonna bevel, so it's just gonna have a bad day. I wanted to, you know, round it up a little bit to make it a bit more uh, funky. So, did I symmetrize this? I meant symmetrize this one. There we go. Nice. So it breaks this kind of like an angular uh, feel to it. In fact, we could touch uh, for these corners as well. No, that looks silly. I don't like it. Angular is fine. All right. Well, let's see. How are we looking? I think we're looking pretty good, guys. I think we're looking pretty good. Um, so we, what we could do, right, is, uh, you know, um, get get on with the, the detailing. But before we do that, well, I want to do one more thing. So, what the fuck? Snapping is broken. That's fine, we're gonna use a knife. It's 2.9, man. Still has issues. Does it work? Let's go to view. One cut. Second, ah, it's, it's mirrored. Okay, fine. So now, what we can do is select this and uh, mirror. Um, what I mean is to. Um, what do you call this thing? Uh, check or deselect is what I want. And let's go to... Let's actually inset this a little bit. And go to... Uh, EM Macro and, you know... Oh, 
extrude it outside a bit and No, does it make sense? It doesn't. All right, we're not gonna do this. We're gonna do something else. Let's apply the mirror, and let's grab the those rings here. So one here, and well, I think it was a mirror that was in the way, preventing from, you know cancel this and preventing from me introducing these cuts uh, let's maybe skeleton Y there we go that's kind of cool it's gonna intru introduce a bit of a breakage weather all right so let's save it 